Okay, here's another application of the sum the product formulas. We have sine 15 degrees plus sine 15 we want to find. Now we can't add these together and get sine 90. These are not like terms. You can't add the angles together. So in order to do this, um, we would need to use one of these formulas. Sine of 15 and then 75, those are not angles that are on my table or my unit circle. So we need another way of doing that. So by using the sum the product formulas that will allow us to get the exact value. I have sine x plus sine y, that's each of these here. Okay, so in this case, um, I could let the 15 degrees equal x and the 75 equal the y. However, in this part of the formula, again, I'll be, I'm subtracting it, I'd get a negative angle. So instead, I'm going to switch the order and do it this way, sine 75 plus sine 15. Again, it's okay to switch the order. As long as it's a plus, you don't have to do, you don't have to alternate or do any more work on that one. X is 75, the Y is going to be uh, 15. We're going to use the first formula. We have 2 sine of X plus Y, 75 plus 15 over 2. And then I have cosine of 75 minus 15 over 2. So just using the X and the Y, X is 75 and your Y is 15. And we're going to simplify this and it will give us angles that are on our unit circle and we can get the answer. So we have two, okay, this sine of 75 plus 15 over two, that's 90 on top divided by two, that's gonna be sine of 45. And then I have cosine 75 minus 15 over two. 75 minus 15 is 60. 60 over two is gonna be 30 degrees. So I have sine 45, and then I have cosine 30 with a two in front. So now I'm just gonna put in the values from my table or I can use my unit circle for that. This is 2 over 1. The, the exact value for sine 45 is square root of 2 over 2. The exact value for cosine 30 is square root of 3 over 2. So now uh, what I can do is first of all cancel out the 2's that are there and then for the part that's left if I multiply across the top I get the square root of 6. On the bottom I have 1 times 2 so I get square root of 6 over 2. We're not allowed to reduce that at all. That would be your final answer. That's the exact value. If I took sine 15 plus sine 75 in my calculator, I should get the same decimal equivalent as square root of 6 over 2 as long as my calculator is in degrees.